Now we are going to carry on looking at the options of enabling budgetary control. Starting off with our journal exceptions. So I am going to take you back into the system. Just as a reminder to get to this page, it is setup and the maintenance, then financials, budgetary control and encumbrance accounting, then manage budgetary control, and then you have to search for the ledger. Once you have clicked on the link of the ledger, you get all of these options. The next set of options is this mapping between chart of accounts and budget account. Now, this is if your budgetary control budget automatically updates the budget in general ledger. And if your source control budget doesn't contain all the segments from the ledger chart of accounts, then you have to come in and do this mapping setup. But again, we can come back to this later. We are going to start off looking at this budgetary control journal exceptions. This is where you can add journal source and categories to exclude them from budgetary control. And the ones that you have are seeing here, closing journals, cost counting, open balances, receipt accounting, they are the default, but you can add more if you want to, and then you could just choose specific journal categories, sorry, journal, general categories, or enable all. So this is where you can control your journal exceptions. Scrolling down to our business unit. So this is our business unit, and we have budgetary control enabled, and we have also encumbrance accounting enabled. We also have this default date rule enabled and we also we can see Arial on in one of these slides. And transaction update balances for the control budget period based on the default date rule here. So this is for liquidations and reversals. So we have the choice of current transaction budget date. So this is the most commonly used option. So it will liquidate reserved funds using the date of the current transaction. So for example, if the budget date for the purchase order is in February and the budget date for the invoice is in March, the liquidation of the purchase order will be dated March because it's going to be based on the current transaction date. We have also got a choice here of period related transaction budget date. So this will liquidate reserved funds used the date of the period transactions. So if the budget date for the PO is in February and the budget date for the invoice is in March, the liquidation of the PO will be dated February. And then you could choose system date. So you liquidate the reserved funds using today's system date. Now we will be coming back to this as well because this default date rule also impacts the behavior of the carry forward purchase order budgetary control balances process but i'm going to leave mindset to the current transaction budget date option and then we have our procure to pay business functions so this allows you to enable or disable budgetary control and encumbrance accounting for specific business functions and transaction types. So once you enable budgetary control or encumbrance accounting and encumbrance accounting for specific business functions, the downstream business functions are automatically enabled as well. You can see here you have got your requisition, procurement, expenses, receiving, available options, invoicing so we have is it enabled yes or no 
and then we also got our reservation point so you can select whether you want the fund to be reserved at transactions submission or approved for the relevant ones here so requisition pushes orders and for expenses management it just a yes or no receiving payable invoices we have got it set to yes there as well if you are enabling budgetary control for receiving in addition to making sure that you have got this set to enabled if we come down into the transaction type details so for this transaction accounting details you then need to click to enable as appropriate for these transactions for the re re relevant transaction subtypes you must also make sure that payables is set up for a current receipts in your manage common options for payables and procurement so you need to set that to accurate expense items failed to add receipts if you are doing budgetary control when you are receiving transactions also for expense management we got to choose whether or not we want to have budgetary control enabled for our spend authorizations now these authorizations will be reserved as a commitment if you are enabling the spend authorization subtype for expenses then in your payable invoicing you should actually and we haven't you should also enable the payable invoices payment request subtype as well because that will enable budgetary control upon the validation of a payment request invoice that associated with that spend authorization to liquidate that spend authorization commitment and reserve the expenditure so notice the different transaction types that you can enable and if we come into each one of these so our requisition requisitioning of for supplier purchases is yes but non project internal material transfer is not and in procurement we are going to be checking on our purchase orders and then we have our project accounting business functions so if you are using projects you want to enable budgetary control for projects so we have enabled it for all transactions or you can select the transaction source and the documents again for budgetary control here journal exceptions and here as we said before that we enabled for all transactions source and documents but then you could put in your budgetary control journal exceptions down for your project information so that is the remaining options for budgetary control enabling budgetary control see you in the next lecture to take example of how budget date are working